What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members, welcome to my new members. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell as you watch this video as we're almost fast approaching 4,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget, I have a membership and a merch store that you definitely want to go check out. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So, the official Star Wars website has shared a preview of the first issue of the Thrawn Alliance's comic mini series, which adapts the acclaimed 2018 novel by Timothy Zahn. Now, the comic is co written by Zahn and Jody Hauser, drawn by Pat Oliphy and Andrea DeVito. And there is a lot that I feel like this comic is going to give us because it gives us a certain timeline that we don't get to cover in live action or even in the animated series. Now, the plot involves two parallel stories. The first takes place shortly before the beginning of the original Star Wars trilogy when Thrawn and Vader are dispatched to the planet of Batuu to deal with a new threat. Meanwhile, the second flashes back to the days of the Clone Wars when General Anakin Skywalker and a young Thrawn first come across paths on the same planet now the first issue of the marvel comic adaptation will be released this upcoming week january 24th now the preview of the comic it shows vader and thrawn's respective crews butting heads as they are forced to work together but it does also highlight the key differences between the two imperial leaders now when a crew member brings them bad news vader is quick to place blame if he were on his own, he would likely deliver a swift and brutal punishment to remind his crew of the dangers of failing him. However, Thrawn is more cool and collective. Satisfied with his crew's competence, he instead seeks to find a solution to the problem so that they can carry on with their mission. Now, this contrast can also be seen in the Clone Wars storyline. While Thrawn is a strategic and mission focused, when dealing with a separatist threat, Anakin is more impulsive and stubborn, which has serious consequences. Thrawn recently made his live action debut in the Ahsoka series, and he will likely play a large role in the upcoming Star Wars movies that Lucasfilm has announced with The Mandalorian and Grogu. With this new rise and promise, it is the perfect time for an adaptation of Zahn's popular Thrawn Alliance's novel. By uniting Grand Admiral Thrawn and Vader, the comic will give everyone a new insight into how different these two iconic Star Wars villains really are. And I really am excited to see the behind the scenes. And it comes, I mean, it's not to life, but it is in images in the sense of a comic series that we finally get to get this and not just in a novelization. Because again, a lot, not a lot of people do really read the books. Not a lot of people read the comics as well. But I know for myself, I am a comic reader. I have a lot of friends who do like the comics more. And I think that to see this now come together, and I know I will be getting my hands on this comic issue and the run overall, because it's going to give a lot of insight and take on things that we probably never knew of between the two characters and never knew of. So I'm excited for it. I want to see what they're going to bring and how it's going to hit. And if they'll ever maybe do a mini series in animation, that would be cool to see. But I'm okay with right now everything that we do have as I want to see what they can do going forward and leaving the Skywalker trilogy alone. But when it comes to Thrawn, again, it's always good to get more Thrawn and also Vader as well. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this comic run and if you'll be getting your hands on this comic release when it does come out on January 24th. For more Star Wars content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as we're fast approaching 4,000 subscribers. I have a membership program and a merch store that you definitely want to go check out. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, guys, as I'll have another banger tomorrow.